Hello everyone and welcome to my General Hospital News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. At the church, Gregory freezes up while presiding over Chase and Brooklyn's promises. Finn asks if he's okay, and Chase suggests they give him a nanosecond. Gregory grips the riser, and Tracy comes up and asks if he can breathe. Hennads. Tracy tells Gregory to take the time he needs, and everyone understands. He drops his notes, and Violet races to pick them up. Tracy continues to guide him to breathe, and says she can finish this, or they can stay. He can speak again and thanks her. Tracy sits back down, and Gregory continues with the promises. He regains total countenance and finishes the I doze. He recites a passage from Shakespeare before Brooke Lynn and Chase recite their promises. Finn produces the rings for them to change. Chase jokes that some people are struck by love at first sight. But that wasn't them. Rather, Brooke Lynn struck him over the head with a bottle, which is still in the PCPD substantiation locker. He professes his devotion and will be at her side ever, feeling lucky to be struck by that bottle. Brooke Lynn speaks about always wondering what kind of a man she'd marry when she was little, so she made herself a list way back when. They had to be handsome, strong, smart, love music, and love her. She says Chase checks them all. One thing she forgot to put on the list was that he to be good, kind, case, fair, and just good. She tells him that he's a good man. Dex and Joss smile at one another as Brooke Lynn speaks. Brooke Lynn says she's so thankful she hit him over his head with that bottle and swears for the thousandth time that it was an accident. Gregory eventually declares them hubby and woman, and Chase kisses his bridegroom. Everyone applauds and rushes over to compliment them. Chase thanks his pater, and Gregory thanks him for being patient with him. Gregory feels his pale list is complete, but Chase wants to add holding their first child to that list. Everyone begins to file out and gets ready to throw the birdseed. Violet asks Olivia to take her to the event as she has to get set for the big surprise. Outside, Christina checks in with Sonny. He says there are a lot of familiar faces he hasn't seen in times. Christina hopes he'll introduce them to her at the event. Natalia tells Blaze she saw her tearing up in there, and Blaze suppositions she's one of those people who cries at marriages. Natalia makes a comment about her own marriage someday. Inside, Chase and Brooklyn bandy renewing their promises regularly while Tracy leads Gregory to a small private room to rest. He thanks her for always knowing what he needs and for helping him moment. He admits he occasionally wonders what life would be like if they met when they were 25 or 30. Tracy admits she has allowed. The same, and life would have been different, as would have moment. She says moment their families were joined in a joyful way, so why would anyone want to change that? Eventually, Chase and Brooke leave and are poured with rice by everyone outside the church. Guests arrive at the Metro Court for the event. Drew talks with Jordan about trying to sneak out. She says he can't be wearied formerly. He says it's just that looking around. He sees a lot of missed chances. Jordan spots Portia and Curtis kissing and says she'll pretend she doesn't know what he means. Jason and Drew run into one another, and Drew didn't anticipate to see him. Jason explains Monica asked him to come moment. Drew meant he didn't anticipate to see him ever given the fact that neither have reached out to one another since his return. Jason asks if they should have. Drew thinks that answers that question, and he walks off. Jordan and Portia run into one another in the ladies' room. Portia notes Jordan and Drew feel to be hitting it off. Jordan explains she's just hanging with another single person. They both wonder why they were all invited and joke, they must have been schmoozy business invites. Olivia enters, and they ask her how they got invited to this event. Olivia says that's a Tracy or a Lois question. They both agree it's better to ask Lois. Natalia thanks Sonny for the autumn. He hopes she's not leaving, but she allowed. He'd want to catch up with musketeers and family. He insists she stay Giovanni approaches Sonny. And they clinch. He introduces Gio to Natalia. Natalia says he played beautifully. 
Gio says his uncle Sonny paid for his education, and Sonny knows he'll be a music hall violinist one day. Sam, Christina, and Blaze all run into one another in the ladies' room. Sam gets a textbook that there's an exigency involving Donnie's kinsman Patty, and she heads out. Blaze complains that it feels like her mama is convoying her, but Christina thinks she's been warm and smiling in a keep-your-hands-off-my-son kind of way. Blaze asks where her mama is, and Christina says in Albany, and she can't stay until she gets back. Blaze can see Christina really likes her mama. Christina says their mothers have one thing in common, and that's they want what's stylish for them. Christina says her job moment is to move Natalia that she's what's stylish for Blaze. Suddenly, Lois and Anna bring Gloria in, as her contact has slipped. Once she can see, she rushes back out to the cotillion floor. Finn sits with his pater and tells him that he was a rock star moment. Gregory thinks Tracy is the rock star for standing between him and disaster. Finn thinks they do make a good platoon. Lois approaches and thanks Gregory for the service and introduces her father, Carmen. Sonny approaches and he and Carmen clinch. He jokes about how Sonny was at his house so much as a sprat they allowed. He was one of their children. Maxie exchanges with Natalia, who's all business. Maxie thinks she doesn't get invited to a lot of parties. Jason and Liz eventually talk. Jason asks if Jake would like to go on a late trip with him eventually. Gloria interrupts and recognizes him as Jason Quartermain and asks if he ever came a croaker. He says no. Sonny walks up, and Gloria gives her memorial son Sonny a clinch. Sonny glares at Jason. Spinelli jokes with Maxie, asking if there was a bridegroom moment, as he only could see her. She kisses him and tells him that this is the perfect occasion to tell him that she loves him. Rook Lynn and Chase enter to applause. Chase and Rook Lynn thank Gregory for the lovely form. Olivia tries to get everyone's attention by raining a glass and ultimately riots, yo, I am trying to talk. Olivia says now that the couple is thin. She brings out the blend of the day for everyone. The Brooklyn Chaser. Carmen exchanges with Finn, and because he's a croaker. He shows him the rash on his leg and prodigies if there's a cream he could put on it. Finn refers him to the stylish dermatologist in Port Charles. Carmen thanks him and hands him a glass of champagne and says, this drink is on me. Sam catches up with Spinelli and asks if the jackal would be available to work with her on a new case. He asks who they'd be probing. She looks at Jason and says, the FBI. Ned announces to everyone that he has a surprise. He has his guitar in hand and says Violet has written a special song for the bridegroom and bachelor. The song is called Moment is the Day and is about true love. Everyone applauds her performance, and she takes her bow. Carmen tells Finn that his little bone is a star, and Finn agrees. He tells Finn they should drink to her, and Finn intentionally has a drink of champagne, realizing only after what he's done. On the coming general hospital, Anna warns Jason he's causing a scene and to control it in. Spinelli asks Sam, How did we indeed start? Violet with Liz? asks her father. I have to ask you a question, and I need you to be honest. Finn appears to be drunk. Lois tells Sonny, the bigger a deal you make of this, the bigger a deal it's going to be. Cody and Sasha hang out in the forces. He says, if you have a better way, I am all cognizance. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.